Bare dine. Det er så tykket. Det er det, der er Maxi. Alliance 
I would like to welcome all of you and thank you for your participation in this protest to show your solidarity and support to the victim and suppressed and oppressed people of Pakistani occupied Kashmir, Pakistan and its peripheries. Without wasting time, friends, as we know, what happening in Afghanistan, what's happening in South Asia, all footsteps goes to Pakistan. They are promoting and exporting terrorism in entire region, in South Asia, Afghanistan, state of Jammu and Kashmir, and other parts of the world. We are here to raise our voices and draw attention of the United Nations Human Rights Council and international organizations to intervene and save the common people in Pakistan, secular progressive people in Afghanistan, Pakistan and Pakistani occupied Kashmir, who believe in humanity, coexistence and peace. And unfortunately, Pakistan didn't learn lesson from the past and still she is promoting Taliban and their agents in this This is the time that the United States United Nations and NATO and other countries intervene and ask Pakistan to stop playing these dirty games in the region. I would like to ask request over Comrade Sajid Hussain, he is the Secretary of Information of United Kashmir People's National Party, Europe Zone. He will read the memorandum we will submit later in this building to the UN High Commissioner. You are the floor, Comrade. You will first read the memorandum and then we move forward, please. Friends and representatives of the deprived nation and nationalities and representative of the civil society and leaders of the different representative organizations. This protest is organized by <coughs> Swiss Kashmir Human Rights and Jammu Kashmir International People's Alliance outside the United Nations Human Rights Council, Strongly condemns Pakistan's hybrid regime and they were to silence all voices of dissent by introducing new draconian laws to curb basic civil laws and rights of expression. Sadly, note with deep concern that the media and the journalists in Pakistan and in areas of Jammu and Kashmir illegally occupied by Islamabad never had a situation so bad where people fear for their lives and lives of their loved ones. Believe that during the brutal martial law of General Zia, the media had more rights than what they have during the regime of Oxford Education Smart Prime Minister who is determined to behave like a fascist and vindictive leader. Apprehensive apprehensive about growing extremism, violence and act of terrorism <coughs> where innocent citizens are deliberately targeted and dissented or limited, uh, uh, intimated, abducted or killed. <laughs> Dear friends and comrades, anxious about the growing land grabbing activities of Pakistani army in various towns of Jammu and Kashmir under their control. We recognize that Pakistani army and other agencies need land for their businesses, projects and housing societies and towns and countryside of our motherland Jammu and Kashmir state are endowed with natural beauty and resources. The occupiers should comprehend the that this land and resources belong to us and we will not allow anyone to occupy them and use them to advance their business interests. Caution the government of Pakistan not to play with sentiment of the people of Gilgit Baltistan and Pakistani occupied Jammu and Kashmir. And any attempt to annex these areas and changes the, change the legal status of these areas will be opposed. Demand 
immediate release of Kasim Khwaja, a political and human rights activist from the Nail Ambeli, who is victimized because of, because of his political activities. Request release all political and human rights activities of Balochistan, Sin, KPK, Punjab, Galkit Pakistan, and so on, Azad Kashmir, and demand that all military action in these areas must stop and process of dialogue to start to resolve the Notify Pakistan that the policy of as a firefighter and an isolation as a sham may not be exposed to more developed community. Therefore, must abandon all policies of exporting extremism and terrorism and then to leave peace with its neighbors. As human rights defenders, the Human Rights Council, governments and other international bodies to ensure that Pakistan's ruling elite abandon their old policies of promoting extremism, violence, religious hatred and terrorism to advance their political and strategic agenda. Call upon all those who believe in the rights of expression, equality and justice to apply pressure on Pakistan to respect fundamental rights of all citizens living under their control. Thank you. Thank you, comrade. Sajid Hussain. Now I would request Baja Siddiq Azad Baloch. He is the Secretary General of Baloch People's Congress. Sir, you have the floor. He will speak about the human rights violations in the Balochistan. Please, sir. Uh, the people of Balochistan are with the people of Kashmir and we express our solidarity with their demands for freedom. The people of Balochistan have been oppressed by the Pakistani state for the last 70 years. They occupied Balochistan militarily in 1948 and since then they are Operation is continued, and now they have uh, uh, find another partner, China. With the help of China, they are uh, occupying all the coastal belt of Balochistan. Uh, they they are trying to evacuate the Baloch from their ancestral lands and settle the people uh, from Punjab and from uh, China. So we, we condemned all these uh, activities of the Pakistan uh, state uh, and its uh, collaborator, China. We, we are with, with the people of Kashmir because it is an illegal occupation and they are occupying their lands and their resources by force. So we continue and we are totally with our Kashmiri brothers. Thank you very much. Comrades, we Sindhis have come here to show our solidarity with the oppressed nations occupied by Pakistan, Kashmiri, Gilgitis, uh, our friends from Pakhtunkhwa and Balochistan. We oppressed people of Pakistan. Pakistan has occupied our nations and denied our existence. Pakistani constitution does not recognize Sindhis as a nation, Baloch as a nation, Kashmiris as a nation, and uh, Pakhtunkhwa as a nation. We are historical nations and we don't need certificate of Pakistan to be to prove that we are nations and our languages are national languages and freedom is our right. National self-determination is our right. Our demand is for national self-determination and Pakistan is constituted continuously denying our rights and basic rights and those people who are raising their voices, for example in Sindh, every day they are disappearing people. Every day four or five people have been disappeared. 
and this uh, operation which is unannounced operation is going on in Balochistan since Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Kashmir. So we have to be united to face these atrocities and tell the United Nations that it's your responsibility to save us from this brutal regime. This is the brutal regime who has killed millions of people in Bangladesh and raped hundreds and thousands of girls in Bangladesh. That regime is still continuing. That's the same regime which is ruling Pakistan and same regime is continuing. They have not learned any lesson from the history and they are continuing the worst atrocities nowadays in Sindh, in Balochistan, in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Kashmir. So we demand that right of self-determination is our basic right and uh, we demand uh, right of self-determination for every oppressed nation and Pakistan should stop these atrocities, these killings, these mass hacker raping our girls and uh, kidnapping every night they enter in our houses and kidnap the uh, uh, Pakistan Zindabad Pakistan Murdabad Pakistan Zindabad Murdabad so we need to tell these terrorists these are the terrorists who are supporting them these are the terrorists who are supporting Taliban these are the terrorists who are supporting every terrorist everywhere there is a terrorist there is a link between Pakistan and terrorism it's proven again and again that Pakistan has a link with terrorism in Afghanistan this terrorism has so-called showing that they have won the war but they will be defeated and freedom fighters and freedom will win and these people who are against our culture, our language, our heritage, our uh, history, they will be defeated and we love our nations, we love our history, we love our culture, we will defeat them. Historically, our poets, our uh, philosophers, our saints have defeated this terrorism and extremism and today the uh, history is repeating itself and we will defeat them. Our culture will win, our history will win, our language will win, our society will win. We believe in uh, uh, coexistence, we believe in respect, we don't believe in extremism. We have to defeat this extremism and their ideology and Pakistan is the basis providing, basis this two nation theory is the basis of this extremist ideology and they are spreading all over the world and one day we will defeat and one day we all will be free and we will win our freedom. Thank you very much. We are having demonstration from words in the Congress as well tomorrow uh, at Broken Chair uh, at 12 o'clock. So I'm inviting you all to join us to uh, show solidarity that uh, we will defeat this uh, fascist regime. Thank you very much. Much, uh, uh, Sadar Shokat Ali Kashmiri Saab uh, for organizing uh, this conference. Thank you, UKPNP, uh, for inviting the representatives of uh, the oppressed nations in uh, Pakistan. Uh, we Pashtuns, uh, I would like to represent myself as a Pashtun, uh, not just uh, uh, a leader of a uh, movement, uh, because uh, in Pakistan uh, there are different nations. Uh, they are living under the oppression of uh, uh, and tyranny uh, of uh, this regime. And Pakistan is, is not a natural state. You know, there are different nations who have been occupied uh, uh, by this uh, country. So we stand united with each other and uh, we are together and we will fight against this tyranny uh, and, and oppression. Uh, of uh, this uh, unnatural state of uh, Pakistan. Uh, you know about the uh, evolving situation in Afghanistan. 
uh, it's really a humanitarian and strategic catastrophe uh, for the world, especially United States of America. And uh, the source of this terrorism uh, is Pakistan. Until or unless we resolve the source of this uh, problem, we cannot, uh, you know, uh, do away with uh, this uh, terrorism. Because this country, Pakistan, is basically in, uh, sponsoring terrorism and exporting terrorism, not only to Afghanistan, uh, but to the region, the whole region, and uh, and beyond, uh, to the whole world. So the world should not turn a blind eye uh, to this uh, terrorist country. It has been, you know, sponsoring terrorism and the terrorists in Afghanistan, and they have now these terrorists have, have occupied Afghanistan. And what's happening is really, you know, frightening. And the world is not listening to the Afghan people. We were, yesterday we were having a protest uh, of Afghan people. The Afghans are holding protests all over Europe, all around the world. But the world is not listening to them. And the main problem is just a country which is called Pakistan, which is a terrorist-sponsored country in the world. So we need to concentrate, the international community needs to concentrate on this country and uh, either dismantle it or stop it from sponsoring terrorism around the world. Particularly Pashtuns. Pashtuns have been the victims of terrorism for the last uh, 20 years during the so-called war on terror. They have been in forced disappearances, extrajudicial killing and torture. And with the emergence of PTM, the world came to know that what's happening with the Pashtuns. The Pashtuns, which have been labeled as terrorists, have been used by Pakistan. And they were the victims of terrorism. We have submitted hundreds of thousands of cases of forced disappearances of Pashtun people to the United Nations Working Group on uh, Enforced Voluntary Disappearances. We have been submitting the cases of extra extrajudicial killings. We are submitting the cases of torture to the United Nations. Up, up till now, not a single action has been taken against this state. So it's the responsibility of the United Nations and the international community to take firm action against this country, sanction it, and support the oppressed nations of Pakistan. I express my solidarity with the Kashmiri people, with our brothers uh, from Gilgit, Pakistan, our brothers, Baloch brothers, and our Sindhi brothers. So we are united and we should work unitedly uh, for our endeavors so that the world could listen to us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Sardar Shakat Ali Kashmiri Saab, Nasir Saab, for this opportunity. I stand here in solidarity with all of you, all the oppressed and occupied nations of Pakistan, as well as people from the former princely state of Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, when Pervez Musharraf wrote the book in the line of fire, he was trying to give this impression to the international community that if there's any force that is standing between the rest of the world and terrorism, that is the Pakistani soldiers. They're the ones who are taking all the brunt, they're making all these sacrifices, and they're holding the fort. But what we have seen recently, I mean, you all heard Dr. Christian Fair telling us that Pakistan is the arsonist. Pakistan is not the one that is defending the international community and the Pakistani citizens against terrorism. Pakistan is the arsonist. Pakistan is the one that is bringing terrorism to the forefront, exploiting terrorism, using terrorism, and making money out of terrorism. And while doing it, it is causing too much pain and too much bloodshed. I believe that if we want to look at the communities which are in the line of fire right now, these are the people from Gilgit, these are the people from uh, Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir, these are the Pashtun, these are the Baloch. Because with the Taliban gaining gover uh, uh, government in, in Kabul and their different allies becoming more active in Pakistan like Tahrik Taliban and some other factions in Uzbekistan and Tajikistan, we are back to square one. What we have achieved in the last 20 years, 
nothing. I mean, we're back to square one, which is we are at the mercy of the international terrorism. Very soon you will see that Al-Qaeda will show up back in Afghanistan and all these other terrorist groups will show up and they will be promoted and defended by uh, Taliban. I mean, recently when Taliban was asked to condemn TTP, what did they say? They said, we are not going to condemn them. The problem with Taliban, TTP, is with the religious council in Pakistan and they should sit together and solve the problem. And what is the demand of TTP to have Sharia in Pakistan? So I think we are back to square one after 20 years, which is we are going to suffer while the Pakistani military will just enjoy what, what is going to happen with the rest of the, uh, the, the world and eventually it will align itself with China and trying to benefit the most with this new excess of evil that we see Iran, Pakistan, China and Afghanistan in their hand. All these four countries together this is a really bad news for the international community. So I think this um, protest today is an extremely important protest because it is not just about our basic rights. It's not about uh, you know informing the international community about our basic rights. It's informing the international community what they are going to face if they do not stand with the oppressed and occupied nations of Pakistan. They need to stand with the Baloch. They need to stand with the Pashtun and Gilgit and Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir and the Sindhis if they really want to stop this huge onslaught that we are about to see because now China stands with them. With that, I thank you once again, Nasir Aziz Saab, for this opportunity and long live the struggle. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Who are here? Thanks for everybody who joined us here. Liebe Damen und Herren, wir sind heute hier mit diesem Protest vor die Welt informieren. Seit 73 Jahren in Kaschmir die beide Seiten unter militärischer Aktion von Pakistan und Indien. Aber jetzt seit in Kaschmir in bei Pakistan die militärisch und die andere Security hat unser Land gestohlen. Welches Land? Die Land ist vom Farmer, die Bauerland. Und nie jemand denken von diese Leute, diese Menschen, das ist gleich sei wie im Arbeitsplatz. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am just informed to you that we are since 73 years under Pakistan occupied. We are Kashmiri and here we are joining us the Balochi, Pakhtun, Sindhis, Gilgit because we are just like a flower. There are many kind of the flower in the garden. So we are informed to United Nations. In Kashmir, Pakistan side, since a uh, few years, the military, the army and the agency, they are stolen our farmlands on the top of hills. They, they are suffering us with human rights, with the uh, journalism, journalists. They killed the peoples. They kidnapped the peoples who are talking about their rights. They are asking from them their rights. And now we are here, this protest, and we are informed to United Nations, there are more than 200 countries. They are have these signatures on that contract that everybody, every country must be care for human rights. And now we are requesting to them in Pakistan occupied Kashmir, please send the peace troops and they make their referendum. They ask to Kashmiri nation, what you like? You like to join Pakistan? You like to join India? Are you like to independent? And we are struggling for a state of Jammu and Kashmir, United State of Jammu and Kashmir, which has more than 15 million population, 
and more than 167,000 square kilometers of land. There are so Gilgit, Ladakh, Jammu, Kashmir, and Punch, and all the states. Thanks for everybody. Thanks again. Thank you. Reza Abdul Shabik is a Norwegian citizen and he was kidnapped by Pakistani state agencies and kept in solidarity confinement. He was missing for 13 years and he is our long associate. He has been coming here. He has raised this issue several times again and again in UN and ultimately his brother is released now. His health condition is not good but we congratulate you for sir, your struggle for your victory. We request you to have a take the floor and share your this good news with the world community and we know there are thousands of laws still missing throughout the first century. Uh, participating in uh, solidarity with the Kashmiris, uh, we are all together on this nation. Uh, I have to emphasize that I have nothing to do with Pakistan, I belong to the Iranian Pakistan, but accidentally my brother went to, to visit uh, our relatives in uh, Pakistan, uh, back 2009. He was uh, kidnapped by uh, Pakistani intelligence ag agencies and never brought to the court of justice. We didn't know about his whereabouts and uh, uh, for 13 years they kept him in Kamkado and inside uh, confinement. Uh, well, uh, then I came to know that there are thousands of Badood, Sindhi, uh, Kashmiris and, and Pashtuns who are being kidnapped, tortured and also ex 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 uh, uh, ex judicially killed by Pakistani agencies. Uh, it is Pakistan, I came to know that it is a police state. Uh, it is ran just for an army, nothing else is valued there. So it is high time that the oppressed nations uh, of Pakistan, uh, Kashmiris, Pashtun, Balut and Sindhis, uh, be given the chance to decide their own future. Uh, my experience in those 13 years have been horrible. Uh, I as uh, an Hindu and also uh, a family member of the uh, uh, disappeared uh, human being have gone through so, so much suffering you, can, you cannot imagine. What happens to others who are being uh, you know, kept in, in, in uh, solidarity confinement and has no voice whatsoever in any uh, arena to 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 uh, to raise their voices, their uh, you know sufferings. Uh, it is horrible. So I asked the Human Rights Commission send send them uh, a mission, our um, our peacekeeping troops in in the area of Pakistan. It should be dismantled. Pakistan should be dismantled because it has played this role. It was created by the British in order to stand against the communism. There is no more communism. So Pakistan has played its role. It is, its time is over. Let the uh, nation get free, to decide their own future. And I assure the Kashmiris that we, the Baluch, in the other side, are with you. We uh, in all arenas, and we support you. I thank everybody who has come here, and uh, also remember that uh, the missing persons of all nations need your support. Support. Be their voices. These voiceless people need a voice. Uh, and uh, I thank you that I was given the opportunity to express my experience in the last 13 years. Thank you very much. Thank you, Flo. Pakistani, former Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, he was thrice el elected by the Pakistani people. Now he has forced to live in United Kingdom. He said that Pakistani military and secret agencies are acting with impunity and state above state. Now I would like to request Gary Cartridge. He is the journalist based in Brussels and originally from United Kingdom. Sir, you have the floor. Good afternoon and uh, I'd like to uh, thank the organizers for inviting me here uh, today and congratulations to you for such an impressive 
uh, event. But I have to say that uh, I know from personal experience that UK PNP uh, is known for the professionalism and the integrity of your events, so I'm not surprised. I would just like to uh, talk a little bit about the situation vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan and the Taliban. We were given, uh, as journalists, as human rights campaigners, we were given a real gift a few weeks ago when the leader of Pakistan's ruling party uh, very carelessly tweeted a message saying that now Pakistan, together with the Taliban, will liberate Jammu Kashmir. And in the discourse, well, we all knew, we all knew. But with that one tweet, that gentleman shared that information with the entire world. And I think I'm very, very grateful to you, as we all should be, for showing us Pakistan's true face. I'd like to just very quickly uh, give some positive information uh, of something that's happening at the moment in the European Union uh, in regard to the issue concerning Pakistan. You may be aware that Pakistan enjoys a very favourable trading relationship with the European Union. It's known as GSP+. It enables Pakistan to export to the EU free of tariffs. This particular instrument has saved the Pakistani uh, economy. This instrument is now under very, very serious threat. If Pakistan loses this status, it will be devastating for the economy. At the moment, we have had the European Parliament in April calling for that to be suspended. Of the 60, 690 MEPs who voted, 681, an unprecedented majority, voted for that status to be withdrawn. That's still going through the Parliament. I'm very optimistic uh, that this is going to go the full way. In the last two weeks, we've had two major NGOs, uh, Human Rights Without Front, uh, Frontiers, one of Europe's most important human rights NGOs, delivering a letter following a conference with the support of 20 other NGOs to Josep Borrell, the, um, uh, the High Commissioner for Foreign and Security Policy, uh, calling upon Borrell to suspend this status now on the basis of Pakistan's abuses of the human rights laws, uh, sorry, the blasphemy laws in particular. This morning I learned that the Europe-India uh, uh, Commerce Commission, the Trade Commission, has issued a similar uh, plea to Morel, I think this has gone in this morning, calling for suspension on the basis of Pakistan's connections with the Taliban. This battle is now coming from all directions and it's important to understand, and I hope, I hope that you do understand, that these are initiatives that have come not from the Kashmir community itself, but from those of us and other people who are very, very concerned. I'd just like to say that this is a situation that your people have been facing since partition, since a long time, since before most of us were born. And after such a period of time, it's probably sometimes uh, easy to think, well, maybe nobody's watching, maybe don't, nobody's aware of what's going on. Well, I can assure you here today with my hand on my heart that a lot of us are watching, and we're not going to go away until we get what we want, which is a free cash Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your support. We are thankful to UK PNP for giving us this opportunity to come here and raise our concerns. For many years we have been raising our concerns at the platform of UK PNP and under the leadership of Sardar Shokut Ali Kashmir. I, Mr. Munir Mengal, Principal Representative of Center for Gender Justice and Women Empowerment, as my elders, they already have spoken about Pakistan, about the human rights of Pakistan. So I I would like to tell something. I have seen, you know, some NGO representatives over here. That with respect to that, I want to appeal from these NGO representatives that South Asia is the worst effective region. If you see, and uh, South Asia, particularly the region which is controlled by Pakistan, Pakistani army, there are few points. One, the religious terrorism that that region was suffering was only because of Pakistan and we were facing that. Pakistan is a country that has made agreements and then at daylight in front of the UN, United Nations, in front of the Western world, uh, captured regions by force. As Kashmir, as the Pakistani forces captured by force the Kashmiri land in the same way they captured our land by force. The third thing, all the time we have been 
uh, raising these issues of human rights and the UN body they know that the Pakistan is the uh, is a country with her army on daily basis abusing human rights of the people. Now China is there. That's the fourth factor, and the world knows this thing that the, the South Asia and particularly that region has a, a, a very strategic uh, uh, geolocation, and because of that, China is over there. I request from these organizations that they should write some proposals to save that region from this sort of strategic designs, from that sort of military designs which China and Pakistan are planning. And uh, not only planning, already China is in. Chinese boots are in Pakistan. Chinese uh, boots are in Pakistan. Chinese boots are in the parts of uh, Kashmir, in Pakistan. So it's the time for us that we have to ask the UN, her bodies, Western world, Western countries, that is time to intervene to save the peoples. Otherwise, we will see the same sort of debacle as we, have, we are seeing today in Afghanistan, and the same thing will happen to that region. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for giving me time. Thank you, Mr. Munir Mengal. Uh, we helped Taliban to defeat United States and NATO, and we brought them in power in Afghanistan. They are glorifying this. And well community should take it seriously that they are the real promoter of extremism and terrorism in that region. Now I would like to request Rehman Khalilur. He is the president of Secular uh, Forum for Secular Bangladesh in Switzerland. Sir, you have the floor, please. I am Raman Kullur. I am the organizer of the International Forum for Secular Bangladesh. Today, exactly, I am not to uh, speak enough. <laughs> I just to say every year, on every time, I come to meet with you. I have a solidarity our Bangladeshi peoples, our Switzerland, our Malik, and all of the Bangladeshi peoples, all a solidarity with the UKPNP, for the Kashmiri people, for the Belen people, for the all. Um, uh, mass peoples of the Pakistan who are suffered by the Pakistani military and militants. So we are say we just to raise voice all the time in international way that Pakistan, uh, UK, PNP or others organizations they have to get the liberty. They are re uh, they are independent. We, we are always with the solidarity with the people. So thank you so much, everybody. Have a good day. Kashmiri Kadam Badao, Antamari Sate, Chokat Kashmiri Kadam Badao, Antamari Sate, Chokat Kashmiri Kadam Badao, Tararis, 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 Chokat Kashmiri Kadam Badao, Antamari Sate, Gui Wat, Gui Wat, I want, want to like I would I would like to thank you all of you especially the leader of the oppressed nations and our colleague and I must pay my gratitude to all of you for your commitment, for your dedication, for your motherland. I have nothing special to say to you because all our learned representatives have said that. And I would like to subscribe their views which I have already stated here. My dear comrade, we belong to state of Jammu Kashmir, which is a historical state. And I know you all here, like Sindhi, 
is the great nation and Sindhu Desh was a historical idea. I understand the Pashtun who are struggling for their basic rights which was suppressed by the army and of course the great nation the broad great nation which is struggling for their independence and I must show the solidarity with all oppressed nations. It is an alliance of the oppressed nation lived in diaspora. Our miseries, our happiness, our commonalities are same. And we are living under a regime, a brutal state, which has no historical link, is, but it was a fake state who ruled us, who suppressed us, who banned our freedom of opinion, who banned our culture and also our history. But we, the son of soil, in our past struggle to protect our history, to protect our culture, to protect our language. Pakistan, in my view and opinion, is a country which is not subscribed to the historical nation's concept. Pakistan is not a nation state. It is a theo-fascist state. Make its used religion as two and terrorism as foreign policy. Pakistan is trying to impose the proxies in our regions. And you have experience in Afghanistan. What kind of theophatism is facing Afghan people? And now the Afghan women, <coughs> Afghan common people, activists, human rights defenders, is suffering too much. It is the time for the world community to intervene and give some space some breathe for the Afghani. And same is the course with us. Last 75 years, we are the Kashmiri, or victim of theophagism. And it is the Pakistan who invaded in our state and divided us. And now they are plundering our natural resources. They are destroying our environment. They are diverting our rivers for their own interest. They are robbing our top hills and also our ancestral land. And the people are suffering too much. There is many women who were murdered, but still their murderers are not brought into the justice. There are many people who are missing and their loved ones is protesting in Balochistan, in Sin, in Islamabad, everywhere the people and civil societies protesting against the brutal rules of Pakistan. There is no democracy. It is a mockery and people have no basic rights. Like in Delgit, Pakistan, their all natural resources is used by Pakistan and people are forced to leave their motherland. It is unfortunate that United Nations, Human Rights Council and United Security Council is not able to honor their own resolution on Kashmir. We are asking that United Nations should put pressure on Pakistan to comply with the UN resolutions 
which passed in 19, 13th August 1948. We were forcefully divided and we will not accept this division. It is our motherland and the loyal son, son of Sai did not accept this kind of fascism. I thank you all my dear comrades and I must pay my gratitude to the Bengali people, the great people. They are our inspiration and you people must learn a lesson from the history. It was the Bengali who was suppressed. Their language was, was not recognized and ultimately Bengali people got freedom from Pakistan within 25 years. So we congratulate them and you are our inspiration and we must ask our community to take cognizance against those who are involved, involved in genocide of the Bengali people. I thank you. Thank you, sir, everyone who take part in this protest today. Special thanks to our international NGOs representatives. They are here for their solidarity to people of state of Jammu and Kashmir, our comrades who travel from UK, Belgium, and other parts of the Europe, and all Baloch activists, Sindhi activists, Pashtun activists, Bangladesh delegation. We are very grateful to you, our journalist friends from UK, we are very much thankful to you for your presence and support to oppress people of the state of German Kashmir. Now, hereby we conclude this protest and now proceed for our next conference in Royal Hotel. Thank you.